Hello, royal enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of King Charles and his unique property policies. It turns out, no pussies are allowed on the premises of some of his country abodes. Stick around as we uncover the details of this feline ban and explore the royal residences. But before we jump in, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button to stay updated on all things royal. Let's get started. Beyond reigning over the United Kingdom, King Charles is a prolific property owner, offering a range of homes to his citizens. However, there's a catch, no cats are allowed at his country abodes in rural Sandringham. Let's find out more about this intriguing policy. Join the British Royal Family community. Like, subscribe, and drop a comment below to connect with other royal enthusiasts. Your input makes our royal discussions richer. Tenants at Sandringham are subject to a strict screening process. They must rent the unfurnished properties for a minimum of 12 months and adhere to the no cats policy. Interestingly, dogs are considered on a case-by-case -case basis, adding a layer of curiosity to the estate's rules. The ban on cats is believed to have originated under the reign of Queen Elizabeth, King Charles's late mother. One theory suggests it was to protect the estate's bird population from hunting kitties, while another speculates the ban may be linked to personal preferences, as the Queen was reportedly not a fan of cats. Reports also indicate that the ban may specifically aim to protect pheasant fledglings bred in Sandringham for hunting purposes. Whether it's a measure to safeguard wildlife or a royal preference, the no cats policy adds a unique touch to the properties. Tap that like button if you're a fan of the British royals and make sure to subscribe for exclusive royal content. For those who can bypass the feline restriction, the royal residences offer a range of amenities, including garages, multiple outhouses, driveways, contemporary kitchens, and historic details. However, current tenants have raised concerns, with one mentioning the need for upgrades in their homes. One royal resident, Mick Dye, expressed frustration over unaddressed upgrade requests for his Schoenborn cottage home. Despite the challenges, he pointed out the uniqueness of the situation, saying, you can't take the queen to court. As we unravel the mysteries of King Charles' no-cat policy, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this peculiar royal rule? Drop your opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more royal insights. Until next time, stay regal.